up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer and A with TK. It's Tuesday evening here in Finley, Ohio. See, it feels like it's finally warming up a bit. Starting to see some sunshine. The snow's melted. River looks like it's overflowing, but the snow's melting. Um, so it looks like spring may be upon us. I think it was up in the high 30s today. It's beautiful in the Midwest. Um, today, I'm going to review a beer from Jackie O's, and this is just the goes from Jackie O's. Jackie O's is an immensely popular brewery in the Midwest here, especially in Ohio. Um, they're out of Athens, Ohio, which is where Ohio University is. And generally speaking, their beers get really good grades. Um, I will say this, I really don't drink them that frequently. The only stuff I really see from them on the shelves tends to be IPAs and like 50 million IPAs. But as you guys probably know, I'm not a huge IPA guy, so I usually pass on them. Um, I have some work colleagues that, you know, are IPA fans, love Jackie O's. Um, you know, I know they do tons of beers. I went to the website and checked it out. Um, looks like they have a public house, a tap room, and a brewery, as well as a facility in Columbus. So they have the Athens things and then one in Columbus as well. Um, all of them are under COVID kind of restrictions. So the public house and restaurant is open only via reservations. It looks like they close at either 8 or 9 o'clock. Um, tap room and brewery to they had outside seating um, at the tap room. So as it's starting to warm up, maybe that'll be you know more appealing to some folks. Um, look through their beer list; they had everything you could imagine: so barley wines, imperial stouts, saisons, red ales, sours, porters, golden ales, IPAs. Honestly, I'm I'm a bit disappointed that I really don't see more variety of their stuff on the shelves where I live. Um, that's why when I saw this goes, I snatched it up because I thought, okay, cool, some other than IPA, um, you know, like to give it a shot. So we'll give this one a, a, a try and see what it's like. Um, got some information here on the side. Our goes is brewed with sea salt and coriander, a proprietary yeast blend of Brettomyces, uh, Saccharomyces, and Lactobacillus ferments the beer at high temperature. Over the course of two months, this beer becomes naturally tart and full of character. No kettles were soured in the making of this beer. And on the front, it says stainless condition, mixed culture, beer brewed with salt and coriander. And there's some really cool artwork on here as well, if you can see it. And it has the name of the artist on the side here. It looks like it is Katie Schlocker. It looks like it's S-C-H-L-A-K-E-R. So interesting um, kind of art deco thing going on there with the work. So check out her artwork, see what else she has going on. For the glass, I decided to go with this cool Antiques on High glass. Um, you may remember the Antiques on High episode I did a while back. I went down to Columbus to drop my daughter off at, at the art school there and uh, went to the place Antiques on High. I saw it on a map. I think I looked up on Untapped or one of those apps, like places near you, and it said Antiques on High. And I thought to myself, like, what the heck is this? It's some antique shop selling beer. Um, it was a block from the hotel I was staying at. So on the way home, I thought, screw it. Let's check it out and have a beer at the antique shop if it's open. Um, and when I got there, I realized it wasn't. It was actually its own brewery. This is described as the sister brewery for Seventh Sun Brewed out of Columbus. So if you're familiar with sour beers, a lot of times um, people will brew their sour beers in a special facility because they don't want to run any risks or take the chance of you know infecting the equipment in their, their regular brewery. Um, I know there's Funkin Ship as a, a spinoff of, I think that's Platform or somebody. Um, so it's, you know, not uncommon for breweries to do this. So I picked up this kind of cool glass. All right, let's check it out. This one's coming in at 5.2% ABV, uh, six IBUs. Again, ratings 3.85 on Untap, uh, a four and even four on Beer Advocate, 89 overall score, very good. Pour this golden yellow color. Pretty clear, looks like you can see through it quite nicely. Fair amount of carbonation here, it's going crazy. Um, pretty decent head to be honest for the Goza. I didn't expect it to be that much. You got about two fingers, although it does look like it's dissipating rather quickly. But if you can see it in the, the light, I don't know if you can see through the writing on the glass, but um, that's super carbonated, it almost looks like champagne or something, really cool. Let's check it out. Can smell the salt. Other than that, honestly, you just kind of pick up a saltiness and a little bit of a, a little bit of funkiness, um, a little bit of tartness. Nice smell to it. Cilantro. Let's check it out. It 
First thing I noticed is it's really not as tart or sour as I thought it was going to be. Um, the noodles wasn't super funky, but I expected it to be, you know, a little more to it on, on the funkiness, but it's really not. You pick up a bit of coriander. You pick up almost like a fruit juice. Again, I think you kind of taste like apple and some kind of citrus, maybe like lemon. Um, you pick up a little bit of, a, a wee bit of malt. Um, and that's about it. it. It's not really heavy with the sourness. Um, but with like, a, you know, a, a good goza, you kind of have to have that salty element to it. I think a lot of the beers out there say that they're gozas and they're not. It's just a tart or a sour. Um, where this actually does the things it's supposed to. You have the tartness, but you also have that salty element to kind of counterbalance it, which is quite nice. Again, pick up the, the coriander, kind of light spiciness to it. Nothing too crazy. Not a very strong taste in that regard. Um, Overall, this is a really nice drinkable beer. And I think I picked this up for five bucks. I think it should have been eight and was marked down. So I got a bit of a deal picking this one up. Um, overall, Jackie O's goes. This is really good. I would definitely drink another one of these. Big thumbs up. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you've had anything from Jackie O's, you've been down to the brewery, let me know what you think about it. All I really seem to see is IPAs, man. I want to know about their other beers. Some of these Imperial Stouts sound really tasty. Hey, cheers. Till next time.